So today, I'm after stumbling across a Minecraft castle on a Minecraft faction server. Like, what is this? This is actually standing and doesn't look like it's being griefed. This is what amazes me about factions. If I walk in, it says that it, it says obviously the faction name and it says it's under construction, which I have taken a look at it and it does definitely look like it's still under construction. Is the guy online? Okay, two people are actually online. Maybe I should be careful here. I don't know. I wouldn't say they're the richest faction because, you know, they're building a castle <laughs> on a faction server. You know, it doesn't really work. I wish this was the kind of raids that we saw in, like, factions. It would be absolutely awesome. But anyone living in a base like this will not survive for long. But I do appreciate these kind of builds. Like, it's not often that you stumble across stuff like this. Like, I must admit that this is the best build I have seen by far in a long time on a faction server. I'm very used to stumbling across like houses and stuff like that, but like that's this is a kind this is a build for a faction server. This is a build. I know I keep saying a faction server, but like you can grief people. I might not because I appreciate it, but some people will see this and they will tear it down. That's for sure. But as you can see, look, it's still under construction or it has been griefed already a little bit. <gasps> I didn't actually expect them to be here. I thought they'd be in their real base. I'm actually going to try Ender Pearl out of here. That guy, I think he didn't see me. Now, they might have stuff inside this base. I haven't fully checked it out. I've just checked out from a distance. I don't really want to raid them. Like, they're probably, if, like, this is their main base, um, they're probably new to factions, but it's definitely interesting to see. Do we even, oh, we do, perfect. All right, I'm going to take off my armor. I, I don't know how that guy didn't see my name if he didn't, but it looked like he was just still, like, working away. It looks like it definitely is still under construction. He was using, um, trenching TNT there by the seams of it. I just want to get a bit of a closer look. I don't really want to disturb them, but, like, if they are rich, of course I'm going to raid them, but I don't think they will be. I, I very much doubt if we find spawners and stuff here... I doubt it. Hello, buddy. How's it going? So he's definitely part of this faction. I was going to say, if this, if he wasn't the faction member and he was grew from the base, I'd be like, I'd kill him for it. But it looks like they're definitely building. Look at this guy. On a faction server building a, a castle. It's so backwards, but I love it. All right, I'm going to go take a look in your main castle. Don't kill me if you spot me, okay? Oh, they might. Oh, it looks like they might have an underground bit there. I can see um stone bricks. So that's actually quite cool. What have we got inside here? Is it actually a base? I doubt it. And if it is, like I said, it's probably not. He's got an actual farm. Oh my god. Best looking farm on the server by far, I'll say that. Not very practical though, since it's kind of small how it goes around in the square, but he's got a farm. <laughs> this is actually his base. No way. I hope this guy knows that if someone finds this, like, it's really, really easy to destroy it. I hope he knows that. He probably does. Oh my god. Okay. It goes out into, like, little courtyards and stuff. This is so cool. Like, mad props to this guy. Oh. <gasps> Hello? Okay, no, the guy's not as silly as we think. The guy is building for- <gasps> There's the other guy. Or is that the same guy? I don't know. I'm kind of lost. They're not as silly as we think. They're not. They know what they're doing. That's fine. That's fine by me. As you can see, they have a base up there. I don't think there's any way of getting up to it. Maybe has someone tried to? Is that like, can we get out of here? How do we I can pearl, I guess. Is this, like, unclaimed here? Ah, so at least they know that, like, this is easily raidable and, like, yeah, there's stuff's up there and that that's fairly easy. I'm assuming there's stuff's up there. But, like, there's no way of actually really getting to it. Smart guys, I guess. Like, that's pretty hard to get to. Obviously, I can cannon it, but, um, or I can one-stack it with sand like me and Raven did with a sky base not long ago. Have they got spawners? F who we lacked. They are worth zero dollars and they have zero spawners. And it's claimed by them. So they have absolutely, they have nothing. Like, because any sort, any, the tintiest bit of value will show up. They have nothing. All right, let's reward them for their hard work for building, you know what I mean? And also, like, they're probably going to get raided soon. And, like, this thing is probably going to get completely destroyed. So let's reward them for their hard work. And um, at least when it does get destroyed, they'll be like, ah, at least we got someone gave us spawners and really appreciate it. <laughs> right. Oh, piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. He hasn't even noticed. Oh. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Come on. No, it's the other one. No, it's the other one. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, candy. Go on, notice it. <laughs> There's a big spot on the floor. Don't let it. Please. Please. Pick it up. You're giving me anxiety. Oh my god, he's just TB'd away. Okay, not good. Where's the other guy? He was over here. Oh, one's guy one guy's back, one guy's back. Come on. Hey. Hey. Hello? Hey, little guy. Hey, dude. Hey, turn around. Oh. Hey. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's a pig spawner. 
You see it? Oh my god, how does he know? <laughs> I, this is a, I wanna give it away, like, without them knowing. I feel like it's more mysterious and cool, but like, this is proven to be very difficult. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, come here. Hey, notice this. Look, 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 look. Looky, looky. Looky, oh, oh. He looked. Go, go, go. This is impossible. Hey. There you go. There you go. There you go. Whoa. Collect the other one. Collect the other one. Oh, God. I think these guys might be new to factions. <laughs> okay, and there you go. Right. I hope they know what to do with spawners. And there's another one. That's it. That's it. Just take it. Just they're, they're right over the wall. <laughs> He's so confused, the poor little guy. Hey. He can't see. Look, 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 look. Right there. Turn around. <laughs> this is so difficult. Look at that. There you go. There you go. Right. I'm only giving that much because they're just going to lose them anyway. I think they're just going to get raided. Chances are they're going to probably place it down in that castle. But anyway, I hope they enjoy it. I love their build. It's a shame it's going to be TNT fairly shortly. <laughs> anyway. Oh! Well, that could have ended really bad, and that would have been extremely embarrassing. Oh my god. Thank you, Armor. Oh my god, save my life. <laughs> That's dangerous. Who put a lava pool right there? <laughs> so, if you're anything like me and you're a little bit lazy and uh, you like to find some easy raids, uh, you like to check the border uh, because I just feel like everyone just gravitates towards the border. I personally, when I build bases, I prefer to stay away from the border because I just feel like everyone checks the border. Now, I know it does come with benefits for claim bases, but for unclaimed, <laughs> Not really. So this thing stood out so bad on minimap because they haven't even tried to put the signs down. I don't even think that would even cover it in the nether, to be honest. But we have a sky base raid, and I'm hoping it's going to be rich. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But just judging from it being on the border, I'm going to say it hasn't been here long. Because anything unclaimed, especially sky bases, get found extremely quickly. But let's see what we're dealing with. Now, I am scared of the guy coming, because you never know, probably might be active. We've got uh, demonic shovels. We've got loads of just plain old pickaxes. Where does he get the plain pickaxes? They've all been slightly used as well. I have no idea. Obviously, this person probably likes to mine in the war zone. We've got ender pros, which I might as well top up. Come on. Please be decent. Okay, right. The stuff in the chest is good. Silk touch. Okay, I'll take those a second. I'm just seeing what's most important. Scout now. We've got, uh, I thought it was prop four, but we've got prop three. Ooh, this is actually not bad. Oh, okay, right. Oh my god. Um, we've got 100 souls. We've got stack removers. Don't really need that. We've got harvester axe. Mob essences. Is this, is this real? Oh, okay. Uh, they gave us 400 bottles of souls. Okay, why are these not in his e-chest? We've got two charge creepers and a personal fishing booster. Yo! Why are they not in his ender chest? His ender chest must be full with a load of good stuff and his PV if he's a donator, which I'm going to assume he is. Okay, I'm going to take the obsidian as well. We've got prop two. We've got steak. We've got spawners. Uh, we've got rabbits, pigs, cows, chickens. Okay, so we've got basic tiers of spawners. Have we got more? Oh, 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 oh. We've got a wolf. Okay, I don't know why that's not in the other chest. We've got T... Oh, no, we got no TNT technically because it's trenching. Uh, what else we got? All right. Yo, this is kind of... This is rich. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's rich. It's got nearly a dub full of spawners. They're not amazing spawners, but it's still spawners. Whoa, I take back my words. I have a feeling that this actually base has been here for a long time. Just seems like it. Seems like it's really been lived in. Or the person that owns this base, main base, got raided. It was being raided and he moved everything here quickly. Maybe that's what happened. But I'm raiding it now, so I'm going to take it all. Ooh. Okay, a little bit unexpected. I expected to maybe find some armor, you know, just general stuff like that. But I didn't expect to find the kind of custom items. Like the personal fishing booster. Like if I don't use that myself, which I don't know if I will or not. Like I'm sure, I, hang on, what kind of... It's a it's a two times multiplier for 15 minutes. That's a decent one. Sometimes you can, I think you can get like five minute ones. Like we could possibly sell that to someone for a decent bit of money. 
if we don't want to use it ourselves. So I might hang on hang on to it for a second and actually I might use it myself. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to wait until I get into a comfortable faction though because there's no way I'm going to be able to survive fishing for 15 minutes peacefully without a faction actually giving me some help. Now, we've got books in here. Imagine if there was a Juggernaut too. That would be so good because that's the main thing we're looking for right now. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm absolutely struggling to get Juggernaut too. Since I've left my faction, I can't really get impure gems without getting ganked. So we're kind of on hold right now with that. Okay, right, let's just make sure we take all these spawners. Now, this guy could come back any moment right now, so we do need to be ready to fight as well. Best thing, if if he does come back, if someone does come, um, knock him off or spleef him. Do we have an axe? Nope, but we can probably grab one. Let's keep this axe on us. Spleefing machine. <laughs> right, let's take the cobwebs as well. We can use that for a 230. Prop 1, we don't need. Scourging nest and stuff, I don't really need. I won't be building a base. Raider's Lixer, yes, please. Um, and why not? We might as well just take this prop 3 because I don't really have a lot of prop 4. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I wonder if my R kit is due. Please say it is. That would be sweet. I really need one. Is it due? It's available. Let's go for it. Right, so after this raid, we're going to open up our R kit, which um, we're going to go for the comeback kit, I think, again. And uh, see if we can get some, like, really good armor. Maybe we might get a Juggernaut 2 piece on it. Can you get a Juggernaut 2 piece out of it? I don't think you can because now it's divine. You can only get up to extreme max. So maybe not anymore, but I know last map you could have, so... We'll see if hopefully we can get some decent boots. That's what we're hoping for. That would be really nice. Okay, prot 2. I'm not really interested. And all these books are kind are, are pretty much useless. Well, I don't need them anyway. But what I'm going to do is, what would be really smart, is I'm going to take all these books down in a second. And I'm going to turn them into the um, Warlock Trader Merchant Guy. And trade them back in for souls. And make some souls from this raid. Now this, I will admit, has been a sweet raid. But it's actually been really nice. It's actually been better than some of the raid, the claim raids that I've done. And I just think it's ridiculous that you can spend so much money on the claimed raid. And then like, odd days like this you find on claim raids for absolutely nothing. And like, they're richer than the claim raids you've done. It's just, it's just so backwards sometimes. But it's a lock of the drawer. I do find raiding back in the day was a lot easier. I'm not going to lie. I am struggling to upload daily factions with raids. Um, hence why the uploads are all over the place. But when you get something like this, it is nice. Okay, right. So we're going to go to spawn. So if you don't know about this, if you're raiding someone's base, make sure that when you see books, especially a lot of them, like, you know, half a dub here, as you can see, make sure you just, if you don't need them, make sure you take them to the Warlock Trader guy because, like, he, it's just, it's just free souls. Now, you might not get anything from it, but... It's, it's mostly free souls. See, Warwick Salvager. Just pretty much come here. Put all the books in. I don't need any of these. And also, you can get enchanted pages, which is pretty nice. But you need to be lucky. Trade them all in. There we go. Boom. And there we go. We got a load of extreme stuff. So, we can just literally redeem all this. We're currently on 6,000 souls. I'm going to literally trade everything in. And then we'll see where we're at. So, after drinking all those souls, we're now up to 26,000 souls. Nice. That's pretty nice. You know, I mean, grinding souls is... Quite boring, like you know, it's same old, same old, same old. So just to get it like that from someone else, it feels good. <laughs> not gonna lie, I've just realized it's not all instant TNT. So instant TNT is like pretty much trash for us, but well, for me anyway. I don't need it for building the base. It can't be using the cannon, sadly. I've tried it. <laughs> Doesn't work. But there's actually a bit of TNT in here. I didn't actually realize that. Okay, very, very nice. Take these Seal Touch pickaxes, and I believe then that's everything worth of value from the raid that we wanted. Don't want the weekly. This has actually been decent. All right, this is really mean. This is very bad what I'm doing right now. But um, I'm going to give this guy a bad day. Uh, so when he comes home, he's uh, going to fall to his death. That's for sure. Um, hopefully, I don't fall to my death right now. But yeah, he can save some of his stuff if he comes back up. I don't think it's really much worth to come back up to. I guess it's prop 2 if he wants that. But he's not going to have a good time when he falls to his death. Feel kind of bad, but feels good too. <laughs> so that is all for today's video. I found that sky base and I also stumbled across that castle, which I thought was absolutely awesome and needed to show off. And like, you know, at least if it gets destroyed tomorrow or next week or next year or two years from now, obviously like maps like two months long, but whatever. At least it's been recorded and it'll never be forgotten. <laughs> now, I am also, quick announcement, kind of a bit of like a YouTube kind of plug. I left my faction, um, so I'm kind of factionless at the moment. And I don't really have anyone to rely on. And I have 68k. So I am going to be selling these spawners over the next few days to make some money. So that I can use for cannon raids. You know, to buy TNT, build cannons, etc. So if you're looking for spawners and want a good deal, keep an eye on the AH, okay? Thank you. Alright guys, see you later. Thank you for watching. <laughs>